Hello everyone, Kathy here. I was requested by Four Paws Vlogs to do a review on how I set up my cage. And right now you can see it is a complete mess because they pooped everywhere and decided to cause a ruckus last night. So I still need to fill up on their food, their hay, and their litter box, and pretty much everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it and then I'll show you what it looks like bare and how I set up everything. So this is what the cage looks like bare. It is fleece day today, so I have to wash all of their fleece materials that I have over here. And right here is their new liner. I have two sets of the liners, but I don't have two sets of the shelf liners, which I need to make another one. So if you guys want a tutorial on how to make that, I'll probably just leave a comment and I'll probably show you how to make the liners and the shelf liners too. But... Just leave a comment if you'd like. Let me go ahead and wash some of my fleece items first, and then I'll show you how I put everything together. Nico, no, 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 no. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put my liner down, and mine, I even though I did extra measurements, I forgot to um, pre-wash it twice before I started sewing, and I did give it, like, an inch or two on both sides for extra, but it kind of shrunk on me, so, like, you can see... Right here, it's not matching up, and a little too long over there, and especially over here. There's a lot under here too, but I just went ahead and I put the tile on it anyway, so you guys wouldn't see it. But anyways, if it really bothers you, then yeah, I would definitely say make sure to put the measurements correctly and to pre-wash it. But, uh, I don't know, it's for my chinchillas, and they don't seem to care much anyway. So, to keep this corner in the back down... Normal people would put like a house or something like there, but my chinchillas, I don't know, like, I don't know if they hate this house or they don't like it like this, but the only way to have them leave this alone and leave the corner alone is if I put the house upside down. <laughs> so, to make them happy, I leave the house upside down. And over on the corner over there, I put their litter box, and nowadays I've noticed that Cassiopeia likes to pee, in this corner right here so to force her to use the litter pan I put it like that then over here will be where I put their food and there's a loose thread so I'm gonna go cut that so, all right so over here is um, basically their food their hay and their litter pan, litter bedding and currently right now I'm fixing uh, f feeding them a mix of oxbow and climb but I will be switching over to um, tradition which is a really great show quality feed for them and right now i'm just gonna go ahead and fill up their bowl so usually when i um do the measurements for their food every day i measure it with the bowl so it comes out to about 320 then i just wait in the morning again to make sure to see how much they ate and all that the next i got around to spray painting that i used a safe a chinchilla safe spray paint, which was what it was called, Rustoleum, and I redid it so it's blue and it matches everything. And right here is gonna be their hay, and over here is their hay cubes. I only give them three just cause like they chew on it, they chew on it that I could see. I'll put more, but usually if I put more, like a bunch, they're just everywhere and they don't finish them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hay in here. Alright, sorry, so this hay right here is the Small Pet Select Timothy Hay and the Chins. Oh my gosh, they love this. I also keep some hay cubes in here, but this, they love this. When I first put it in, like, they just couldn't stop. But my only problem is, this is the second cuttings, and they're kind of picky chins, and they love just eating the grassy parts, and they're supposed to eat the hard parts because it's good for them. But they're chinchillas, and I won't get them the third cuttings, which is just the nice soft leafy parts because that would be extremely spoiling them and they wouldn't get to exercise their teeth correctly but anyway some of these strands are a little bit too long to fit in here so I have to use scissors to cut them up but I will show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like I try not to cut it so much because I don't want them to uh, be too picky or like they won't it'll be too small so they won't bother with it so I like to just kind of Leave it like this, as you can see, there's a lot of room in it, but... Oh, loose chins, loose chins everywhere. 
And over here, I forgot to show you, the storage is still kind of the same. All the chinchilla shelf stuff. Then the shop vac that I love using because it makes my life so much easier. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this up and show you the setup. Some of you might be asking too, like, oh, what happens if the chins, like, turn over the bowl? Well, this bowl is actually pretty heavy, but not only that, it I kind of overlap it like this. Because it fits perfectly perfectly right under, and then they don't really do much to it. If anything they knock over, it's usually this tray. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum a bit because there's poop everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and put up all of their fleece items. So while the fleece items are watching, washing, this is how the cage looks. I have their ledge up there, which I wipe down. And then if they pee on it or something, I like to sand it down. I have another ledge right here, and then their water bottle, their glass links at water bottle. I can't, oh my gosh, I can't stop raving about this bottle because it doesn't drip, it's glass, and I mean, I know some of you think it's kind of small, like it's not even bigger than my hand, but I like it like that because then that means I can refill them on fresh water more often, and I do it, I think, once a week, and the other bottle, I do it like every two weeks, and it felt kind of gross because sometimes I'd find like slime on the inside, and it wasn't bueno. Um, right now they're probably freaking out because they're used to more of a hammock right there in another area to play. Also because they want to come out. But anyways, you can see how the jumping causes a mess. And there's food over there. And already I'll come back. Oh, the troublemaker. I let him out. Well, actually, no, I did not let him out. I opened up the cage so that I can fix it. Hey, he knocked over and he jumped out and ran off. He's my trouble child. So after everything is pretty much set and cleaned up, I like to put the fleece on the shelf and then put it back up. And then I throw their toys up here just so that I use this kind of like a play area. And it keeps everything neat off the floor here. So all I have to do is just vacuum here and nitpick anything up there. You'll notice that my fleece um, doesn't have a complete, like, doesn't cover the bottom completely. Uh, this is just how I do my liners. I found it online and um, I thought it was a brilliant idea because I only have the plastic trays up here but not down here since I used the bass pans. That's it everyone. I hope you have a nice day and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or requests, just leave it in the comment box below and I'll be happy to help you whenever I can. Thank you.